contrasting styles between these two. Raymer has been the more aggressive player. Williams much tighter, and they both made it work. Now David Williams with an ace four off suit, and he will come out with 300,000 chips. Greg Raymer, first look at his hole cards, two eights. You always love a pocket pair and heads up. Raymer has a lot of chips to choose from, <laughs> and he will make the call only. Raymer with a two to one advantage going to the flop. It comes out four, two, five. David Williams pairs his four, but he still trails Raymer's eights. Williams does pick up an inside straight draw. Raymer checks, and David Williams bets 500,000. He likes his hand. Middle pair, straight draw with the ace. 1.6. And Greg Raymer likes his hand even more. Great read from Fossil Man. He will raise 1.6 million, and he's got the best hand right now. David Williams already reaching for chips. We have seen him work so quickly throughout this tournament, and here he is making the call right away. Williams sees low cards on the board, figure they would not help Raymer. What he doesn't figure is that Raymer does have a high pocket pair. Shirley Williams in her most anxious moment of the whole tournament. Same could be said for Cheryl Raymer. Fossil Man looks at that board and figures the only thing that could worry him is a higher pocket pair for Williams, and he doesn't think he has it. And now the turn card. It's a two, which pairs the board. Williams keeps improving his hand, and that's very dangerous because he still trails Greg Raymer. Two and a half. Raymer bets two and a half million. And immediately David Williams calls. Talk about being pot committed. Williams has put a boatload of chips in. In fact, he's put in 40% of his stack into this pot. What a long way David Williams has come to be at this point of the tournament. With 17 players left, he had under 200,000 chips. Raymer had that on day two. Williams, a four to one underdog as we go to the river. He can still come up with the best hand if he gets a four for a full house. A three would give him a straight. An ace would give him aces up. River card, another two. Now both players have full houses. Raymer has the better full house. He can only lose if he folds. All in. And he's all in. And that would put David Williams all in. And if David Williams calls, it's all over. Greg Raymer would be the champion. Call. And Williams will call. The cards are turned. Raymer wins it all. Yeah! Raymer has bested the biggest tournament field in poker history. He wins the $5 million and is the 2004 World Series of Poker Champion. <laughs> David Williams takes $3.5 million for second place. The new era of poker continues. Two years ago, an amateur, Robert Varconi, won. Last year, an online amateur, Chris Moneymaker, won. And this year, another online qualifier, Greg Raymer. Shirley Williams could not be prouder of her son. She was there for every hand. Greg Raymer went against many themes of this year's World Series. He's not a brash young gun at his first World Series. He is a confident part-time player who played the best poker of his life. Greg Raymer first garnered attention here at the World Series only for his unusual glasses. I look at his eyes and I'm confused. <laughs> Can you talk about that pronounced stare down? Well, it's, it's easy to have a pronounced stare down when you can't blink. <laughs> Can I try your glasses again? But behind those silly glasses lied a serious, aggressive poker player who never backed down from a challenge. I got big <laughs> We got little <laughs> As the tournament wore on, he accumulated chips. Fossil Man made the field yeah. become extinct, knocking out player after player after player on his way to a record payday. Yeah. Maybe it's just me, but doesn't $5 million seem like a lot of money to you? It sure does now. <laughs> Presto! It's hard to imagine. I can't imagine $5 million in my pocket. The once unimaginable is now reality. After outlasting nearly 2,600 players, Greg Raymer is the 2004 World Series of Poker Champion.